tributes from local school children best summed up all that Philip Joel Hughes meant to the small community of Maxville. The town adorned in green and gold to welcome the crowd that gathered from across Australia and even further afield. Some knew him well. Oh, I remember him as the, the cheeky little one that I used to date his brother Jason for two years. So I remember him by um, always being cheeky, like, you know, annoying us and paying us out when I was around at their place. And, um, so I guess that's something that will always be in my mind of just um, his cheeky little personality. Rarely has such an honour roll of past and present players gathered. But such was the effect of Philip Hughes' tragic passing. There were his Australian teammates, a large contingent of state players, members of the India squad, and even the nation's Prime Minister, Tony Abbott, all on hand to support the Hughes family. The school hall was too small to hold those who came to pay their respects, so they filled the oval where Hughes once honed his sporting skills to listen to the tributes. They came in the form of a fond eulogy from friend Nino Ramuno. After the first day of school, he came home and when questioned on how his first day went, Philip replied with a very disappointed look on his face. It was OK, but there are no girls there. Uh, we thought that the name of the school, Homebush Boys, may have given an early indication of this to Philip, but alas, no. Letters from Brother Jason and Sister Megan. I miss you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you again for all the memories. I love you now and forever. Love your big brother, Jace. Your presence will never leave the people that love and adore you. However, I know that I'll have you by my side every step of the way. And an emotional farewell from his captain and teammate. We must dig in and get through to tea. And we must play on. So rest in peace, my little brother. I'll see you out in the middle. Michael Clark then joined with Aaron Finch and Tom Cooper to help friends and family shoulder Hughes on his final journey. I took a chance and changed you in your life. But you misread my meaning. A guard of honour paving the way for a moving procession through the tiny town. Over the past few days, questions have been asked about how the Australian players will prepare for the delayed test in Adelaide and even the whole test series, not to mention the way the game of cricket is played. But today, those questions took a back seat as the cricket world joined the residents of Maxville and the Hughes family to say farewell. Melinda Farrell in Maxville for ESPN Crick Info.